Welcome to the Fairy Tale Fun Force. It's time to go on a special adventure with some of the most famous characters in the world. Goldie, the cutest little golden goose, and her best friend Bert the Easter Bunny are about to head out on a brand new adventure. The Easter holiday has come and gone, and before they start getting ready for next year, Goldie and Bert pile into their rocket ship, the Feather, to enjoy a well-earned vacation. Phew! That was the busiest Easter holiday ever. Yeah, everyone was super good last year. I'm exhausted from all the fun, sweets, toys, and, and, and games. You have to admit it, though. We have some pretty cool jobs, Bert. Yes! Yes, we do, Goldie. Thankfully, the work's done, and it's now time for us to relax. Feather, it's all gassed up. Where should we go on our vacation? Honestly? Yeah, I've been too tired to even pick a destination. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it was so cool to see everyone having so much fun on Easter morning. It always is. And you're the best helper I could ever hope for, Goldie. How did you get so good at your job? <laughs> I learned from you, silly. <laughs> Seriously, though, Bert, can I tell you a secret? I'm your best friend, Goldie. Of course you can. Friends shall be able to tell each other anything. Okay. Well, here goes. I have a confession to make. <sighs> oh? Yep, I do. You and I have been working together a really long time. But there's something I've always been curious about and never had the courage to ask you. Goldie, you can always ask me anything. You never have to worry. Friends confide in friends. Now, tell me, what's troubling you? Do you promise that you won't laugh? I swear on my lucky long ears. Okay. So, even though I work with you on Easter, I don't really understand what Easter is. It's confusing. There are gifts, chocolates, eggs, fun games, but I don't know why. I just always kind of go with it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> Easter means lots of things to lots of different people. There are many different beliefs and cultures. Really? <laughs> you bet. Like what, Bert? Hmm. You know what? <laughs> This gives me an idea. A good idea. What are you thinking? Since we didn't have any plans to go anywhere on our vacation, how about we cruise around, visit our friends, and find out what Easter means to them? That's a neat idea. I'd love that. Awesome. Let's see. Where should we go first? I got it. Let's go visit Wonderland. I've got a cousin who lives there, and while I'm visiting with him, you can explore and ask questions. Right on. Let's do this. Back in your seatbelts. It's time to let the feather fly. <laughs> the first stop on this incredible adventure is one of the most loony places in the world, Wonderland. Get your traveling hats on and let's boogie. The feather arrives in this crazy place and Goldie heads out to go meet with one of Wonderland's looniest residents, the Hatter and his best buddy, Mr. Dormouse, who lives in his hat. Mr. Dormouse? Uh, Mr. Dormouse? Ah, every time I look for him, he's always off gallivanting somewhere. Uh, are you there, Mr. Dormouse? Psst. Hey, Hatter! What? Who's there? Are you going mad again? Or, or do you hear my voice? Why must we play these foolish games? Mr. Dormouse, is that you? Of course it's me. Has it ever not been me? Why are you hiding? I've been looking all over for you. Can't you ever just hang out with me like Alice does? Are you close? Close? Oh, I'm really close. Very near. But where? Oh, where? Hey, hey, Hatter. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, my, oh, my, Goldie. Ugh, you almost scared the hat off of my head and nearly made me fill my pantaloons. Oops, sorry. Don't want you to have another stinky pantaloons incident. <laughs> I haven't recovered from the last one. <laughs> Hiya, Dormouse. Why is it that everyone can see Mr. Dormouse but me? Because Mr. Dormouse is... Oh, shh! Um, okay. You see, Hatter, Mr. Dormouse moonlights as a ninja. To the untrained eye, he blends in with any background. How curious. Yeah, you mean Mr. Dormouse is a master of disguise? Disguise, those guys, all guys. The power of ninjutsu is strong with me. Good one, Goldie. I thought you'd like that one. You're too much fun, Dormouse. Mr. Dormouse likes what what? 
Oh, I, I'm terribly confused. I mean, uh, who could have possibly taught Mr. Dormouse ninjutsu? <laughs> That's a good question, Hatter. Who schooled you in the way of the ninja Dormouse? I have an uncle that's a big city rat who's skilled in the martial arts. He lives in New York and gives out ninjutsu lessons in exchange for pizza. The dude who taught the turtles is your uncle? He is now. You never told me that you had a famous uncle. Do you, do you think that he could teach me? Uh, that depends. Do you feel like ordering some pizza? Yes, pizza. If you are ordering, can I have mine with ham and pineapple? Pineapple on pizza? <laughs> and they say I'm the mad one. I'll take mine as per usual. Extra cheese, hold the sauce, and the crust. The last time I tried ordering that, I got chased by an old man with a rolling pin. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> hey guys, before you order your dinner, I have a quick question for you both. <gasps> Hooray! I, I love questions. They're, they're like puzzles. Spill the beans, Goldie. Well, what's up, old friend? Did you both enjoy your Easter gifts? I did, I did. I'm working on turning my Easter basket into a new hat for next year. Are you also changing your name from Hatta to Baskethead Hatta? Oh my, what an amazing idea. This is too easy sometimes. <laughs> I love my Easter gifts too, Goldie. Easter is one of my favorite holidays. Why do you ask? I was just wondering, what does Easter mean to you? What's your favorite part of it? The hunt, the hunt, the Easter egg hunt. It's so much fun. Being that I'm a skilled super ninja, I'm extra good at finding the hidden eggs. The thrill of the hunt, oh yes. Oh Goldie, Easter is a wondrous gift that you and Bert make possible. It brings all of our friends closer together. Yeah, it's one of our favorite times of the year. We are happy to make you happy. However, what does Easter mean to you? Well, for me, it means that another year has passed and all of Wonderland's beautiful flowers are getting ready to bloom. So you associate Easter with spring? And summer. Spring is the doorway to summer. And if anyone knows anything about doorways, <laughs> it's me. Yes. That's very cool, guys. It sure is. I can already smell all the new flowers in the air. Wow, really? Let me try. Oh, yuck! Wonderland's flowers smell like somebody pooped in a fruit basket. Uh, sorry, that, that was me. Uh, too many Easter eggs. Ugh, that, that felt delightful. Silent, but delightful. Hey, uh, Goldie? Yes? Do you think next Easter you can include a little air freshener? You know, like one of those tree thingies to hang inside of this here hat. Did someone say hat? Whose hat? Show me. Oh, show me that wonderful hat. I can't. Why? I need to see it. And just never reveal the fancy headwear. Ugh, I just cannot win. But I can. <sighs> oh my! Run for your lives! Why? Well, what's. Why? What's happening? D Dormouse? Dormouse? D take me with you! Uh, Dormouse? Yep. And that's a wrap on this trip to Wonderland. I wonder if Bert is back from his visit from the White Rabbit. Mr. Dormouse! Oh, now where did he go? <laughs> hey, Bert, are you back? Yeah, I've been back. Didn't you visit with the White Rabbit? I tried. He said I was late so he wouldn't open his door. <laughs> How could I be late if he didn't even know that I was coming? <laughs> Wonderland is a really strange place. <laughs> if you're ready for blast off, I already have our next destination all planned out. Right on. Where are we headed? We're heading to meet one of the galaxy's greatest adventurers. The one and only Doodly of the Game World Galaxy. <laughs> Yay! It's always so exciting there. Let's get cracking. Bert sets a course for the Game World Galaxy, where he and Goldie can check in with their good friend Diddly Diggs, a friendly fellow who doesn't know he's the star of his own video game. Bert stays behind to chart the course for our next destination, while Goldie heads on out to see what Diddly is up to, and maybe get closer to solving what Easter is all about. Whoa, Goldie, how did you get through the bunny maze of Game World? Those cute little rabbits are great guardians. Oh, doodly. I've been working with Bert for the last hundred years or so. I know how to handle bunnies. Mighty Midason! I'm gonna call you the next time that I get trapped there. And I will come flapping. How are things in Game World Galaxy? Dude, dude! 
Things have been hectic here. Do you know Merle the Squirrel? Yes. He loves chocolate Easter eggs like nobody else. Well, let me tell you, that little guy is nuts. He thinks he's a stunt squirrel. Every time he tries to cross the street on his own, he ends up having to start the game all over again. Does he ever learn? Don't think so. I figured that I'd help him. Together, we run up and down the empty spaces between the cars. By the time we've made it across, we then find that there's hippos blocking the way that we have to deal with. Oh no! What's after the hippos? His tree! Once we get across past the hippos, he makes it home to his tree. Safe and sound. That's awesome of you to help him get home safely. Thanks, but every time I help him get home, when I come back here, there's another squirrel who needs me to do the same thing all over again. Another squirrel? <laughs> yes, Merle has many relatives. How many times have you done this? I just got the fifth squirrel to safety, and then guess what happened? They all left their tree. Yes! Then I turn around and what do you know? There's Merle, looking at me again. To make matters worse, now the traffic is even faster. Sounds like you need to take a break, Dootley. I think so. <laughs> well, what's going on with you guys? How's Bert doing? Enjoy your vacation after Easter? We decided to turn our vacation into a mission. That's how we ended up here. Do you need help with something? Actually, yes. I have a quick question for you. Whoa, hang on. Let me spend my upgrade points to level up my intelligence first. Just a sec, almost there. Okay, there, what do you need? I was just wondering, what does Easter mean to you? That's a great question. To be honest, I've never really thought about it. That's why I'm asking. I mean, who knows? If I can understand what Easter means to you, maybe I can help you have better ones. Dude, that's awesome! That's just like finding a hidden power-up. <laughs> well, thanks. To me, Easter is like the world having an opportunity to respawn, starting over again. All the animals and the plants get their energy back and start anew. Whoa, that's a really neat way to look at it. Dude, if not for respawns, it would totally be game over, you know? Yeah, I get it. Sometimes in life we fail, but if we try hard enough, there's always a chance to respawn and try again. Through practice and hard work, you can literally make it to any level or zone that you want to. That's why I admire you, Diddly. You never give up. There's no reason to give up. You can always get better. You can always be better. And no matter how hard times get, you can make it through. That's great advice, Doodly. Thanks, Goldie. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go catch up with my buddy Larry. He's clumsy and always falling into pits. What about the squirrels? They'll be okay. If not, I'll be right there for them. Goldie has gotten two very similar answers from two very different friends. She flaps on back to the feather to see what's shaking with Bert. Hey, Goldie. You know Doodley. He always has a kingdom to save or a high score to beat. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> How's your adventure going? Learning anything fun about Easter? Yes. Yes, I am. I think we should go to a strange land. A really weird place to see if Easter means anything different there. You're in luck, Goldie. I just installed a trans-dimensional blasto who's a thingamajiggy because he left balloons. I don't have any idea what that means, but cool. It means, my friend, that the feather can now take us to another galaxy. Holy moly, really? Let's do it. One strange land coming up. Goldie and Bert have ventured out into the great unknown. They're heading to a faraway woodland that has them feeling kind of small. Could it be? Yes, it's the land of giants. Here we are. Where are we? I don't know exactly, but the narrator called it the land of giants. Narrator? You know, that voice that just keeps saying where we're going and what we're doing. <laughs> I don't think we've ever met. Hi, Goldie. Oh, um, hi. Shh. We're not supposed to talk to her. We're supposed to pretend we don't hear her. Why? I don't know. We just don't. Whoa, this place is strange. Are you coming with? I ain't going out there. <laughs> it's funny that the person who looks like a chicken is the braver one of us. Good one, Goldie. <laughs> right on, Neri. 
not supposed to, remember? Okay, wish me luck. Hey, big fella. Wow, that's weird. What's weird? I've never had my soon-to-be lunch ever say hi to me before. Where are you? I'm down here, silly. And I'm not your lunch. Oh, there you are. Sorry, blunderbore hungry. <laughs> hungry? Wasn't yesterday Easter? Yes, it was. Didn't you get any candy or Easter eggs to nosh on? No, that's not how Easter's celebrated here in the Land of Giants. No? Well, how do you celebrate? We spin bottle. Bottle points at wall. We draw door on wall and run into it. What kind of way is that to celebrate? Uh, don't know. It worked for fast moving Roadbird when being chased by strange super genius dog. That sounds kind of loony. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, Nary. Who, Nary? Shh, you'll confuse him. We draw door on wall. It worked for fast. Yeah, yeah, we got it. What tiny chicken do here in Land of Giants? I came here to find out how you celebrate Easter. We draw door on wall. Okay, but what if I can show you a better way? What better than draw door on wall? How about once a year, me and my pal Bert, the Easter Bunny, come back here and deliver all the giants' Easter baskets filled with candy and pretty colorful Easter eggs? Oh, that sound better than wall draw. You and your bunny friend are new fast-moving roadbird and strange super genius dog. Bert's a bunny, not a dog. He have fur? He have ears? He fast? Well, yeah, but... Then he strange dog. <laughs> okay, I'll be sure to let him know. So, you come back next year with strange super genius dog and give Blunderbore and friends candy and Easter eggs? That's the plan. As long as you don't try to eat us. <laughs> as long as strange, fast-moving Roadbird come back with friends and snacks, you have deal. Fantastic. You can count on us to visit every year with food and games. We love games. Yeah? <laughs> What's your favorite game? We have best game. We spin bottle, bottle points at wall, we draw door on wall. Right on, Blunderbore. That sounds amazing. I think it's time for me to get going. Thanks for being so friendly. We will see you next year for sure. Sure thing. The pleasure was mine. You take care, Tiny. Goldie heads back to the feather feeling glad that no one had to draw a door on the wall to get her there. Dude, that was the strangest place I think I've ever visited. Aw, oh, they probably think you're just as weird. Guess what, though? What? I told him we'd be adding the Land of Giants to our Easter stops next year. Awesome! The more joy and happiness we can spread, the better. I thought you'd say that. Where to next, good buddy? I was thinking that it may be very cool to go way back in time to check out how people thought of Easter in ye olden days. <laughs> time travel? Is that even possible? Totally! I learned how to make our ship traverse both time and dimensions from Cupid and Patrick. How cool! You know who I'd really love to meet? Who? The first president of the United States, George Washington. That's a neat idea! Hey, let's go way back before he was president. Let's visit Georgie as a young lad. <laughs> That's an even better idea, Bert. Let's off. With the flick of a switch, Goldie and Bert start careening through time! They touch down on Cherry World Planet way back in the 1700s. It's time for Goldie to meet the kid who would grow up to be the first president of the United States of America, Georgie Washington. There's Georgie now! I wonder what he will be able to teach Goldie about Easter. Let's find out! Who goes there? Hi there, George. Look at you, a talking fowl. Mine eyes deceiveth me. Huh? I'm not foul at all. In fact, I'm rather pleasant. Oh, I don't mean foul as in bad. I mean foul as in bird. I see. <laughs> My name is Goldie, the Golden Goose. Uh, pleased to meet you, Goldie. I am little Georgie Washington, keeper of thine cherry trees. Oh? Where do you keep them? I keep them here. Where? Everywhere you see one. <laughs> oh, you mean you help them to grow big and strong. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> it's a job I value so. What doth bring you this way, my feathered friend? You guys sure do talk funny around here. Where I'm from, there are no doths. 
thou's or thine's. Oh, what fantastical lands dost thou traverse? The same ones that you do, just in the future. Ooh, e gods, bird! Thou art from the future? Um, yes, thou is. Did I use that word correctly? Dost did. Thou... Uh, tell me, O oh golden goose, what doth mine future hold for me? I can't tell you that. That would mean that... Oh, how do I explain this? If I told you your future, I'd be messing up the space-time continuum. Thou speakest of sorcery. No, not sorcery. I learned all the do's and don'ts of time travel during the 80s. So many back-in-time movies. And to the future, too. I see. I guess I'll take as thee at thine word. I do have a question for you. I am at your service, O oh great winged wonder. Oh, Georgie. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> of course. Oh, some things never change. What is your favorite part about Easter? And what does the holiday mean to you? What is Easter? Wait a second. What year is it? It's currently the year 1747, and I am 15 years of age. Oh, man. What? Is something wrong? I think we went back too far. Easter hasn't come here yet. Georgie, can you do me a favor? Sure. What dost thou need? Just stay here. I'll be right back. As you wish. What a curious bird. Bird. What? Chicken bacon? When was Easter first celebrated in the United States? Easter didn't become a holiday tradition in America until the year 1870. Yikes. Why yikes? I just asked Georgie what he likes about Easter. So? That's why we're here. Dude, it's 1747. Easter hasn't gotten here yet. Have you learned nothing from 80s time traveling movies? Yikes. <laughs> now what do we do? <laughs> Wait, I know. Good. Because I'm frazzled. <laughs> I'll just set the time dial back an hour. <laughs> okay, we're all set. Phew, that was a close one. Shouldn't we just leave? You know, to be on the safe side? No, since we are here, I have an idea. I'll be right back. Be careful. Who goes there? Hi there. <gasps> Look at you, a talking fowl. Oh, mine eyes deceiveth me. That's right. I am a real-life talking goose. Fantastical! To what do I owe this incredible honor? I have some advice for you. Oh? In about 42 years, you're going to pose for a very famous picture. Try smiling a bit more. I shall file that away for my future self that... Hey, wait a minute. How do you know? How curious. Where did that goose go? Hark! Hark, I say! Phew! That was a close call, dude. Yeah! We almost really ruined the future, Goldie. I know, right? We should get out of here before we cause some kind of time rift. Indeed! Let's lead the whole time travel thing to the professionals. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, let's go check in with El Fantastico. Full speed ahead. Goldie and Bert chart themselves a course to one of the spookiest and fun places in the galaxy, Rattletown, to meet up with the greatest superhero of Rattletown, El Fantastico. While Bert is busy planning a course to their next adventure, Goldie heads out to meet El Fantastico to find out what Easter means to him. Fantastico, como estas, buddy? Hola, Goldie. I'm a bit hot, to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty warm around here. <laughs> I bet you like the cooler October weather a lot better. See, si, there's nothing better than a chill in the air. It's muy bueno. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here in Rattletown? Well, now that Easter has come and gone, the residents of Rattletown are moving full speed ahead with our Halloween preparations. And after that, the Day of the Dead, too. How fun. Do you go on vacation after your big day like Bert and I do? See. Si. I head right for the tropics to let the islanders play songs on my ribcage. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> it's a win-win situation. They get to hear pretty music, and I get a massage. <laughs> <laughs> you are too much. Muchas gracias, Goldie. You're very welcome. So what brings you to Rattletown? I have a question for you. Shoot, senorita. What does Easter mean to you? And what's your favorite part? Oh, Dios mío, that's a good question. We like the story of Jesus. Yes, 
Such an amazing story of love and sacrifice. See, that's why so many people love Easter. It teaches us that the good people will always overcome the bad. And at the end of the day, the angels will save us all and keep us safe. That's a great reason to love Easter. See, and it is a good lesson to learn whether you're Christian or not. Yes, it is. No matter what you believe, it's important to remember that the only thing that can overcome the bad things we run into in our lives is good. It is, Mr. Fantastico. See, so is candy corn. And candy corn is muy importante too. <laughs> Candy corn is great, Fantastico. <laughs> is that all you need, mi amiga? Yes, sirvi. Bueno. <laughs> I'll catch you next time, Fantastico. Good luck with all your Halloween plants. Come back and visit any time. But please, next time, bring candy corn, por favor. We never have enough. <laughs> I will. I'll make sure you get some in your next Easter basket. Give my regards to Bert. And buenos noches, muchacha. Burritos and love to you, too. <laughs> Goldie heads back to the feather to find Bert totally excited. Goldie! I am beyond excited. I can tell just from the way that you're hopping around. You will never believe what happened. Never, never, never. <laughs> Here, you just try. Okay, I guess that. Wrong. <laughs> I knew you couldn't guess. I couldn't guess because you didn't give me a chance to, you knucklehead. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> but you would not have been able to guess, I'm telling you. Okay, so tell me. Are you ready? Yes. Hold on to your tail feathers. Alice is in town. She's back from Wonderland. Yep, she's prepping for her next adventure through the looking glass. <laughs> Holy moly, she's a real life celebrity. I haven't seen her in years. Well, what are we waiting for? Where is she? Well, according to her Insta fam, she just landed in Earth Town. Hey, maybe she could tell us how they celebrate Easter in Wonderland. That's exactly what I was thinking. Hatter and Dormouse are great, but I'm sure Alice will give us a much saner explanation. <laughs> Goldie and Bert are taking a very special trip to Earth Town to see Alice before she heads off on another adventure. They're so excited that the feather barely landed on the ground before they bounded off the door to see their old friend. Let's catch up with them. Yay! Alice is back! My stars! It's you, Goldie! My favorite golden goose! How are you, Alice? When did you get back from Wonderland? A few minutes ago. I met the white rabbit. How is he? He has decided to install some new clocks in the long hall, so I figured that now would be a good time to visit my friends and family. So that's what he was up to. Bert tried to see him a little while ago, and he said that he couldn't see him because Bert was late. <laughs> That's just his answer for everything. You know him? He's like the HOA of Wonderland. Everything has to be on time. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm trying to learn what Easter means in different lands and what it means to different people. Let me guess, Hatter and Dormouse weren't much help. Ha ha, not really, but they tried. Say, I've been meaning to ask you, does Hatter know that Dormouse lives in his hat? I don't rightly know. <laughs> when it comes to Hatter, everything is a mystery. Totally, maybe you can help. How does Wonderland celebrate Easter? Oh my, it's a curious affair. Tweedledee and Tweedledum use Cheshire to paint caterpillar different colors. Each section of his body is a different shade. Dare I say, he looks like an Easter egg train. <laughs> That's ridiculously cool. <laughs> Poor Cheshire though, it takes hours to get all that paint out of his fur. <laughs> Aw, poor little fella. <laughs> Once Caterpillar is every color you can think of, the lion and the unicorn will either trot or fly him through looking glass land until each mirror shines with beautiful colors. Whoa, that sounds amazing. Oh, it is quite the sight, that's for sure. It sounds spectacular. <laughs> you must find our Easter to be very much on the tame side. Not at all. How come? Things don't necessarily have to be grandiose and flashy. Sometimes it's the simplest of things that can be the most fun. Like a good old fashioned Easter egg hunt. You like them? I adore them. As an adventure lover, I have such fun trying to find them all. As a matter of fact, I bet there are still some Easter eggs hidden away that I've yet to discover. There sure are. <laughs> Trust me, I help to hide them. Oh, Goldie.
Goldie, you little sneak. <laughs> That's me. Do you know what my very favorite part of any holiday is? Easter and otherwise. Tell me, Alice. The best part of holidays is spending them with your friends and family. Getting together is always such a treat. It's those wonderful memories that will last you a lifetime. Well said, Alice. Speaking of friends and family, we will let you go and get back to yours. It's such a pleasure to see you, Goldie, as always. Please give the White Knight my regards. The... White Knight? Yeah, I have a bit of a crush on him. <laughs> ha! Who doesn't have a crush on the White Knight? That's the truth. <laughs> Good luck on your Easter fact-fighting vacation, you! Hey, Bert, we still have a lot of adventure left and facts to find. Let's get going. How about we head on over to the land of toys next? I'm getting hungry and Geppetto makes the best pizza. <laughs> Yum. Goldie's journey to learn about the ins and outs of Easter continues in every boy and girl's favorite place, the land of toys. The feather makes its descent into the world of fun and games where Geppetto the toy maker invents smiles every day. Can't you smell it? Smell what? Geppetto's lasagna. Oh, that. <laughs> Sorry, that's not Geppetto's lasagna. It was me. I had that one brewing for about three hours now. <laughs> if you breathe in slowly, you'll notice hints of cilantro and thyme. Ew, gross. <laughs> Dude, given that we're in the egg business, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Ew, I'm going out to find Geppetto. You can sit here and stew in your tutor spewed ghost. Don't forget to bring back some tasty grub. <laughs> if I can ever find my appetite again, sure. <laughs> hey, Geppetto. Goldie, thank God. It's a place. It's a driving me crazy in the head. Is something wrong? Wrong? No. Crazy? Yes. I make the toy soldiers, right? Right. <laughs> Did they get into a fight? Get into a fight? They're a cuckoo. They keep running around with their paintball guns and shooting up my house. Now every room in the house is a different color. <laughs> Oops. I said to myself, Geppetto, what are you gonna do? Then I decide. <laughs> What did you decide? I decided that the world you know, needs more toy soldiers. Instead, I make them toy painters and rent them for $2 an hour. <laughs> Geppetto, that's pretty smart. I, I thought so too. But then I sent them on their first job. And instead of painting, they set up uh, the... How do you say? They set up a, a perimeter around the house. It will not let anyone in. Hi. I guess you can't teach an old toy new tricks. Back to the old drawing board. Hey, Geppetto, I have a quick question for you. If it has anything to do with the toy soldiers or painters, I am no interested. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. Good. In that case, I'm all ears. <laughs> What's your favorite part about Easter? And what does it mean to you? That's a good question. Thanks, G-Man. G-Man. Ah, I think I like that name. So, tell me about your Easter. Hey, the favorite part of my Easter is the feast. Feast? When I was the little bambino in Italy, every Easter my parents would make the biggest feast I ever see. <laughs> That's also how come uh, now I enjoy feeding anyone who's hungry. That's interesting. Why did your family have a big feast on Easter? Oh, what's the matter, you? You need a reason for a feast? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> guess not. I'll tell you what else is cool in Italy. We celebrate Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. You celebrate the Monday after Easter too? Why? What's Monday got to do with Easter? Well, Easter is the day that Jesus, he came back into this world and was resurrected, yes? <laughs> yes. In Italy, the Monday after Easter is known as La Pesqueta. It's the day that Jesus let his followers know that he was back. Well, that is cause for celebration. In Italy, we love to celebrate. We love to get together with a family and friends. 
Easter time is one of the many days my country look forward to because of that reason. So what is served at a traditional Italian feast? Oh boy, we have the fresh bread, we have the Easter eggs, a wedding soup with the meatballs, lamb chops, and desserts are so good that they will make you smile so big, the top of your head will fall off. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Great. Now I'm hungry. Hey, uh, no worries. I fix you the gift basket of food. Oh, what color basket you want? Thanks to the toy soldiers, I have more colors than a crayon box. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, Geppetto. Thanks. I thank you, Goldie. Tell a bird I say a hello. Goldie makes her way back to the feather where she and Bert eat up all sorts of fresh baked goodies. Hmm, remind me again why we don't visit Geppetto more often. <laughs> because if we did, we'd be the size of beach balls right now. I think that I could really get used to rolling instead of hopping. <laughs> but then how would you hold your basket? <laughs> <laughs> A bunny can dream. <laughs> okay, so now that we are all fueled up, where to next? <laughs> hmm, well, let's see. So far, we've learned about how Easter is celebrated in different places and its place in Christianity. Hey, I know. How about we find out how or if people of other religions celebrate Easter? Hey, that's a great idea. Do you expect anything less from the Golden Goose? <laughs> okay, that's a fair point. How about we go and visit the Mighty Mensch? Dude, that's a great idea. Let's get go 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 going. Hooray! Bert sets a course for the Magic Forest, where she and Bert can check in with their good friend, the Mighty Mensch, the superhero of the cosmos who's always there to lend a hand. Once there, Bert stays behind to make some adjustments to the feather, while Goldie heads on out into the Magic Forest to find Mighty. Mighty Mensch! Yoo-hoo! I know you're here! <laughs> Goldie, what are you doing way out here in the magic forest? I was looking for you. <laughs> You're lucky you found me. I stopped here to refill my ship, the dreidel, because the magic forest has the best gas. The best gas? Yep, because the trees here are magic. I can use their sap to fuel my ship. Plus, if I have any sap left over, I can use it on my pancakes. Warm, gooey pancakes! <laughs> no more food talk, please. I am stuffed. Let me guess. You just visited Geppetto. Ha <laughs> ha, you know it. <laughs> I knew it. Ha <laughs> ha Why were you looking for me, my dear? You see, I'm in the middle of learning all about Easter. It's a wonderful holiday. Yes, it is. But it's also a holiday that's very specific to certain religions. That is correct, my chickadee. I myself, because I am of the Jewish faith, do not celebrate Easter. I figured that was the case. Does your religion have a holiday that's like Easter? Yes, it does. It actually happens just about the same time as Easter. Oh, really? What's the holiday called? It's called Passover. Hey! I think I've heard about that. What's Passover? Passover is also called Pesach, and it is a major Jewish holiday that happens in the spring on the 15th day of the Hebrew month of Nisan. Neat! Why is Passover observed and celebrated, Mighty? Ah, that's a wonderful story in and of itself, my friend. <laughs> Passover is usually celebrated in the land of Israel for several days. Whoa, that's a long time to celebrate. In the Bible, Passover marks the exit of the children of Israel from Egyptian rule. It is said that God passed over the houses of the Israelites and guided them to freedom. How is Passover celebrated today? It is traditional for Jewish families to gather on the first night of Passover for a special dinner called a Seder. What's a Seder? The word Seder comes from the Hebrew word for order or arrangement. It refers to the very specific order of the ritual. Oh, I see. 
How does the ritual go, Mighty? The Seder meal is very important. So, the table is set with a family's finest dishes and silverware. During this meal, the story of the exodus from Egypt is retold using a special text called the Haggadah. Whoa, that's like dinner and the movie. <laughs> yes, uh, sort of. Uh, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> Why does Passover happen around Easter time? Do the holidays relate to each other? Yes and no. There are two separate holidays for sure. People believe that the time God liberated the Jewish people from Egypt happened about the same time of year as Jesus had his last supper. That's why the two holidays coincide. Oh, I get it. Wow. That's very cool, Mighty. I feel like I've learned so much from you. Hey, solving problems and telling stories is what I am best at. Thank you, Mighty. Time for me to get back to the feather. Are you with Bert? Yes, I am. Tell him I say hello and that I miss him. Huh, I'm sure you'll see each other soon. Yes, indeed. Take care, Goldie. If you ever need me, just whistle. Goldie learned a lot about Passover from the Mighty Mensch, more than she thought she would. So she heads back to the Feather to share some of her newfound knowledge with Bert. How is the Mighty Mighty Mensch doing? He's always great, and he told me to tell you he said hi and that he misses you. Oh, I miss him too. What did he have to say about Easter? Wow, so very much. He told me all about Passover and its parallels to Easter. It's really interesting stuff. Most old traditions are, if you take the time to learn about them. <laughs> our parents and our grandparents always have so very much to teach us. And the only thing that we have to do is listen. <laughs> and that's the truth. Guess what? I think that I have our adventure pretty much mapped out for the rest of the day. <laughs> you do? What's next, oh great smart and cool Easter Bunny? First, we're gonna swing by the land of love and catch up with Cupid. And then, you're gonna pay a visit to Santa Claus! Yay! I'm stoked to see them both, especially Santa. Why especially Santa? Are you kidding me? Because he's Santa. <sighs> How come you don't get so excited when you see me? <sighs> because nine times out of ten, every time I see you, you give me work to do. <laughs> Yep, uh, that's a pretty fair point. <laughs> Okie dokie, Smokey. Let's do this. It's full speed ahead for our heroes as they rocket off to meet one of the coolest kids to ever wield a magic bow and arrow. The one and only Cupid. Dude, that was like the quickest fight ever. While you were hacking away with the mighty, I was busy in here fine tuning the feather. <laughs> Whoa, really? I had no idea you were so mechanically inclined. <laughs> I'll send Cupid your regards. While Bert sets his course to the North Pole, Goldie heads out to talk to Cupid about Easter. Hey, Cupid, where are you hiding? Sorry, was uh, changing my leaf. <laughs> what? Spring has sprung. New season, new leaf. Those leaves don't last forever, you know. Do you remember when the last time that we saw each other was? If I remember right, my dad had just given me his job alongside what's become my magic bow and arrow. <laughs> Thanks for not laughing at me when I told you that I didn't know how to use them. <laughs> I would never laugh at you. <laughs> I think that you just did. <laughs> Very funny. Want to know what else is funny? Sure. Do you promise that you won't laugh at me? Of course, we're friends. That means we always have each other's backs. What's your story, Morning Glory? You know that I've been working with Bert the Easter Bunny for a really long time. Yes, you have. Well, I just realized that in all the time we've been working together for the Easter holiday, I never really knew what Easter was about. Dude, you guys are always so busy. It's totally understandable. Phew. I still thought you were going to laugh at me. Oh, I will later when I talk with Doodly during our nightly video game session of Mighty Wombat. Hey. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> you should have seen your face. <laughs> you silly goose. Oh, wait. 
Am I the silly goose? No, you're the golden goose. <laughs> so I have to ask you, what does Easter mean to you? And what's your favorite part about it? I like the same thing about Easter as I do all holidays. <laughs> and what's that? No matter what the holiday, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, When you're on an adventure, you can end up with more questions than you do answers. Such is the case with Goldie the Golden Goose. But maybe Santa has the answer she's looking for. Let's find out. The feather makes its final journey of the day on the North Pole planet, and Goldie heads out to meet everybody's best buddy, Santa Claus. Ho, 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 howdy, Goldie. Hey, Santa. It's so good to see you. It's been quite a day. It has? Well, what have you been up to? Bert and I have been cruising the galaxy on a fact-finding mission. <laughs> you don't say. That's right. I felt like I really needed to know more and more about Easter. Well, that's a good thing. You can never learn too much, and believe it or not, no matter how old you get, you never stop learning. You're still learning stuff too, Santa? I thought that you knew everything. Ho, 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 I know lots, but nobody knows everything. Oh, ho, 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 tell me, Goldie, what did you learn about Easter? <laughs> oh, Santa, so very much. Everyone in the galaxy has been so helpful. Even Blunderbore. Did he get you to play the draw the door on the wall game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. And we're adding the Land of Giants to our list of Easter stops. Good to hear. <laughs> Everyone needs some good old fashioned fun in their lives. <laughs> Even giants. Indeed. I learned the meaning of Easter, the different ways that people all over celebrate it, and even the meaning of Passover. Speaking of which, that mighty mensch may be the only person I've met as wise as you are, Mr. C. Mighty is quite the character and a dear, dear friend. <laughs> it sounds to me like all your Easter bases have been covered, Goldie. Have you learned everything that you need to know? Yeah. But I have another question. Do tell. The one thing that everyone agrees on is that the best part of any holiday is love. Oh, it sure is. Love makes the universe go round. It keeps our heads turning and our hearts beating. Without love in our lives, we'd all be lost. And not just the romantic love between mommies and daddies. The love of your friends and your family is just as necessary. You're right on all counts. <laughs> it seems to me that holidays are reminders to tell the people you care about that you love them. 
If love is so important, why do we sometimes take it for granted? Indeed! Why do we wait for a holiday to remind each other? Shouldn't we tell each other how much we care every day? That's a big question for such a little golden goose. <laughs> oh, I'll do my best to explain. Sometimes life can get really hard and become super hectic. Sometimes we get really busy. But shouldn't we make time for love? Yes, we should. And most times everything that we do is out of love. <laughs> What do you mean, Santa? Oh, okay. For instance, most mommies and daddies go to work every day. They do that because they need to make money to be able to take care of their families. So they're working so very hard to make sure that the people they care about are well taken care of? That's exactly right. They're doing what they're doing as an act of love. <laughs> oh, I see. It's like that old saying, sometimes actions speak louder than words. Also exactly right. <laughs> I think I get it. Sometimes you don't have to tell somebody you love them because what you do every day can show them. Yes, ma'am. Although it's wonderful to tell someone that you love them, it's also just as great to show them you care by doing stuff. <laughs> oh, Oh. You don't need words to say I love you. Yes, you can do it in many ways. Sometimes it's just a glance that you share. Sometimes it could be as simple as putting your hand upon somebody's shoulder just so they know that you're there. <laughs> wow, love is wonderful. It's really incredible. We wouldn't go anywhere without it. Does that answer your question, Goldie? It sure does, Santa. Thanks so much. <laughs> oh, it's my pleasure. Woohoo! What a great adventure, Bert. I've learned so much. So happy to hear! Say, guys. Santa! Now that I think about it, I have a question for you two. You do? I just want to make sure I'm not losing my marbles. <laughs> What's up, Mr. C? I went out shopping for dinner a little while ago. Right. And then what? Oh, when I paid for dinner, the grocery store elf gave me back three dollar bills in change. There's nothing strange about that. Well, there's a bit more. Go on. <laughs> when he handed me back my change, I looked down at the dollar bills and I swear I've never noticed that George Washington had such a huge smile. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, go! 